Welcome to Rome, benvenuti a Roma. I am about to take you on an incredible true Italian taste journey with our friends from the Italian Chamber of Los Angeles. Now, before I go any further, there are three very important words that I need for you to memorize and learn. Tramezzino. Tramezzino is a typical white bread sandwich, triangular shape, stuffed with ham and cheese. You find it at every single bar in Rome. Pizza Bianca. This is a this is part of part of the Roman lifestyle. We have pizza bianca from the morning all the way to the end of the evening. And another word is scarpetta. Scarpetta is that thing that our moms taught us that it's not nice, which is to clean your plate with the bread. Okay? Now these three words are very, very important because put together they create the trapizzino and that is exactly what we're going to try. So follow me. So trapizzino was created by a genius. And this genius is called Stefano Calligari. What did he do? He practically created something that we Romans cannot live without anymore because he invented the portable scarpetta. And you will see, we have a triangle of pizza stuffed with Roman, typical Roman dishes. Portable scarpetta to go to eat any time. And here in the neighborhood of Pistachio, where I am right now, is where they opened their very, very first spot. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. So this is Trapizzino, and as I told you, you see on top they have typical, typical Roman dishes. You have lingua in salsa verde, eggplant parmigiana, pollo alla cacciatora, polpette al sugo, and a whole bunch of other of delicious dishes. So now I'm going to show you what a trapezzino is. Io posso avere un trapezzino con uh, il pollo alla cacciatora per piacere? I'm going to ask if she can if she can give us a trapezzino. So I want to show you what it's about before she stuffs it up. Look. Grazie mille. Arrivederci. I'm gonna since it's it's since it's street food, I'm gonna go eat it on the street. So as I mentioned, I am in the neighborhood of Pistaccio. Pistaccio is a very food trendy neighborhood and it's packed with restaurants and really, really nice places to eat. Now we're going back to the park where I'm going to sit and enjoy my trapezzino and I'm going to tell you all about it because genius is 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 really really pure genius so here we are and I'm going to show you what this genius came up with imagine that he decided so let's let's start by by this so we have a very particular pizza that is, is, is done with incredible flowers. And it's practically it's a rectangle. And what he does, he cuts it in a triangle and then he slits it open and then you stuff it with typical Roman dishes. I mean, what could be better? And then you just eat it like this. You will get dirty because, you know, it's part of the game.
Amazing. I know that you're wondering why the Pola La Cacciatura is white and not red because in Rome, Pola La Cacciatura is typically made without tomatoes. So you see what this genius of, of, of a chef created? I mean, how can, how can you not live without this? And imagine that the dough, uh, the dough is made with a mother yeast that has been passed from generation to generation for over 100 years. So this is another thing that you have to add on your bucket list when you come to Rome, because besides being delicious, it's healthy. You get traditional Roman cuisine. It's inexpensive and it's a portable scarpetta on the go while you're in Rome. This video series is brought to you within true Italian taste, a campaign funded by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation in collaboration with Asso Camerestero and the Italy-America Chamber of Commerce West.